I know at this point you cannot consider she Rice a secret weapon because he is the second he is a second round pick in the last year's draft. But the reason why I call him a secret weapon is because we know one thing about Andy Reid is he's gonna make players feel like a secret, right? But she Rice feels like a secret because we know what element he brings to the field. We know what he could do, and we know what he brings to this team, but him not being able to be on the field consistently and really show it, it makes you feel like he's a secret weapon. But in this video, I'm going to be explaining why Rasheed Rice is about to go nuclear. Rasheed Rice is about to go nuclear. That's honestly the truth. Once he starts getting the playing time he deserves and the snaps, he will go off. He will go off. Trust me. He will go off. And that's just due to the fact that he's a very good player with solid route running. His vertical is very high. Um, I like what he does on the yard after catch. And I believe that he could be something very good in his Chiefs offense. I mean, I think last game he had, what, three receptions for 29 yards with a touchdown. I mean, it's really a big deal getting a touchdown the first game of your career. It's not that easy getting a touchdown the first game of your career. But yet he did it. So, I mean, he's on pace for... 17 touchdowns obviously he's most likely not well he's obviously not getting 17 touchdowns but getting a touchdown week one means you could do it more weeks and when Kels comes back and then the offense is clicking more when Justin Ross is more into the game plan Rasheed Rice is going to be killing this offense and I could see Patrick Mahomes and him having a real true connection because he looked so fluid out there with Mahomes when he was playing I don't know if this is going to stay cause is this gonna like, stay like this, is going to continue, but I believe that they should implement him more into the game plan because he looks better than Sky Moore out there, and that's just my opinion. And the defense is coming along very well. So once the defense is dominating, man, I believe that this offense has to be clicking because you don't want it. We've never had a defense like this. That, that's the truth. We've never had a defense like this, and we don't want to waste it, man. Like Usually our offense is super on point. Even last year was on point, and we never really had a defense like this, but I guess this year the defense is going to be the strong side of the team, and the offense is going to be weak, but it just can't be like that, man. It really can't be like that. Um, I'm not giving up on Kondarius Tony. I still got a video on him coming out because I do believe that he could still be a very good player. Um, Justin Ross, I got another video coming on him soon, but we're going to give that some time because... He has to get eased in. I don't want to just be overhyping it. Rasheed Rice, this is what I'm focused on right now. Rasheed Rice, this is who I think is going to make an impact for this team. And a lot of people are going to hate me for thinking it, but it's just my opinion, man. I really think Rasheed Rice is one of the best players in that class because his yard after catch ability is so fluid and natural. It reminds me of Juju Smith-Schuster. Um, his catch in traffic is beautiful. His vertical is up there. He just he's just a very good player overall, man. You can't really go wrong with Rasheed Rice at all. Like he he reminds me just like Juju. And I really do think that he could take that Juju Smith Schuster role pretty easily. He's not gonna have a problem doing it. Um Sky Moore, I, I don't know anymore with Sky Moore. I don't know what to say. At least Tony was getting open and dropping in passes. Sky Moore, I, I don't know, maybe it's still a chance. I mean, he's still young. He still has 16 more games. Sorry, he's still young. He still has 16 more games to prove himself. But I don't know, man. I want to see more Rasheed and less more. That's how I'm feeling right now. More Rasheed Rice and less Sky. That's really how I'm feeling. I know it sounds harsh. It sounds crazy. But with this very good defense, man, we got to have some dogs out on offense supporting the defense, man. Because this team could be very deadly if we get the offense clicking. And we get everything right. And Rasheed Rice, I mean, he's, he can just be a pivotal factor in this offense. Um, I believe he can make Mahomes' life easier with his yard after catch ability, with his hands, with his physicality. You just got to love him as a player, man. It's hard not to love him as a player. It's hard not to like his skill set. It's hard not to respect his skill set. You know, Rasheed Rice is a very good player in this game. And he really is a factor. And I do believe that he will make the Kansas City Chiefs a better team or a better offense. I believe that he could do it. The Chiefs got to go out there 
and give him the opportunity to show that he could do that. I like how they put him in the game, the first game. I like how they gave him a fair amount of um, playing time. I mean, it wasn't as much as I wanted it to be, but it was still a good amount of playing time. I mean, it could have been way better because he still could have had way more touches in that, you know, way more snaps, way more opportunities, and he probably would have had a way better game. But at least they gave him something. They didn't make him a punt returner, no dumb stuff like that, like how they did Scott Moore last year. So Rasheed Wright's is definitely already off to a better start this year than Sky Moore was last year. And even he's even off to a better start than Sky Moore this year. And it's, started, it's time to start making them convos about more. Is this the McCole Harmon part two? A slower McCole Harmon? Is he not going to live to the expectations? Because Sky Moore is absolutely messing up right now, right? He has to bounce back. He's messing up. Last year was, a, was not a very good year for him. This year... Oh no, man. And a lot of people are like, okay, but he still he still did good. No, it's not about that, man. Scott Moore is a second rounder. It's not about doing good, man. When you're a second rounder, you have to be a little bit more than just good. If you want somebody that's just good, that's gonna give you two hundred, you go get a fifth, sixth rounder, man. Any fifth, sixth rounder wide receiver could give you two hundred yards. A second rounder is supposed to at least be giving you six hundred to a thousand at least. At least, man. But it's okay. But she he will be a factor, I promise you. And with this very good Kansas City Chiefs defense, all I all I see is a Super Bowl ring. That's all I see right now is a Super Bowl ring. If we could just, like, if we could just get this offense straight, and Andy Reid's making the right play calls, and he's putting the right people out there, like such as Rasheed Rice to make plays, get touchdowns, get open, create separation. Then we can go right back to the Super Bowl with this very good Kansas City Chiefs defense, this very powerful Chiefs defense, and the offense. Once the offense is like the regular Chiefs offense, and it starts to match the defense, we're gonna be unstoppable, man. We know Andy Reid always gonna have a good offense no matter what. Week one was probably just not his game. I mean, he probably wasn't trying to really show his tricks. You know how Reid is, man. Reed would really sit there and sacrifice a game. I'm telling y'all. Andy Reed would really sit there and sacrifice a game just not to go deep in his bag of tricks. But when he realized we're on a verge of not being too good this year, then he's gonna he's gonna let that let, let that go. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do that against the Jaguars next week. You know? And now seeing the Bengals being 0-1 and the Bills being 0-1, the Chargers and the Broncos are 0-1. The Raiders are winning the division right now, but they ain't winning shit. So, you know, we good on the division. But seeing all them other teams be 0-1, it makes you feel better as a Chiefs fan. It makes you feel better about the Thursday night loss. Yeah, we went out there, we lost by one. No Kels, no Chris Jones, a bunch of drops. That's not happening again, man. And Kels and Chris Jones will be back. So the Chiefs are going to be right back on top. And I will be betting $200 on the Chiefs to beat the Jaguars by three. That's my bet of the week. So your boy, Chiefs Priority, and I'm out. Peace.